And the Vatican has released a new report on the sexual misconduct of disgraced former Cardinal Theodore McCarrick. A Vatican investigation found that bishops, cardinals, and even three popes did not take the sexual abuse allegations against McCarrick seriously. ABC News foreign correspondent Ian Pannell joins me now from London with more on this. Uh, Ian, good morning. How incriminating is this for church leadership past and present? Yeah, good morning, Diane. I mean, I have to say this is a pretty explosive report. It's been long awaited. It's taken two years to compile, and I think many are going to feel it's long overdue. It concludes, as you say, that bishops, cardinals and popes downplayed or dismissed reports that McCarrick had sexually molested adults and children during his four decades in the church. Now, it puts most of the blame on Pope John Paul II, who, of course, was beatified, is now a saint, who appointed McCarrick as Archbishop of Washington, D.C. in 2000, despite having already asked for an inquiry that confirmed he had slept with seminarians or trainee priests. It says John Paul believed McCarrick last ditch handwritten denial. Pope Francis largely escaped censure, which is of course going to anger many conservative Catholics there in the US. The report says Francis had only continued his predecessor's handling of McCarrick until a former altar boy alleged abuse. Diane? And Ian, how's the church reacting to this? Well, look, uh, McCarrick, who's now 90 and believed to be living in Florida, was already defrocked by Pope Francis last year. There have been settlements out of court. U.S. bishops uh, hold their annual conference later this month, and, of course, this is going to be discussed. But an initial statement from their president says, and I quote, uh, to McCarrick's victims and their families and to every victim survivor of sexual abuse by the clergy, I express my profound sorrow and deepest apologies. But the biggest next step, of course, is going to be trying to restore confidence in the church and its ability to be accountable and to move swiftly against abuse allegations. I suspect many will doubt the church is ever capable of policing itself. Diane? All right, Ian Panel in London for us. Thanks, Ian. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.